Thick. Yeah. Bam trap, right? right? And after the trap, we can go ahead and do the snap. This uh, Nico punch. Okay, this is calm. Everyone's good at this. He taps. Now, Joe's taller than me. Taller than Pony. And what's happening, and I see this happening here, and it's not because anyone's like doing it wrong or anything like that. It's mostly because you obviously don't want to hurt your partner. So what I'm seeing is this. After this choke, they tap great. Then once you transition to the armpit choke lock, I see this. Either letting go, mm -hmm. or you're like tippy-toeing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I, I get it guys because it is a see, it is a pretty harsh technique from here I'm gonna pretend like that this is so much taller than me remember what I said once you have this and you've already technically you've already tapped right when I pull this down I'm not letting go of this grip I'm pulling this on the top of his vertebrae right mm -hmm. so if I have this already I'm pulling this, it's going to be uncomfortable. Now watch when I tap when you feel it. I'm going to go all the way down to my lock that I want. See, he tapped, and look where I am. I'm not even at my armpit yet. So what I mean, what I mean to say is, if someone's taller than you, bigger than you, or stronger than you, and you have to employ this technique, don't accommodate them. <laughs> right? Like, don't accommodate If you're shorter than them, you pull them down to where you are. And on your way down, you see my wrist is right on his larynx. Mm -hmm. And then he has to deal with the pain on his vertebrae. He just turned his neck because he doesn't want his larynx crushed. So I'm going to go down to my arm. And feel like I'm not even in my arm yet, right? And he's already feeling it. So I do want you to try to complete the lock, but bear in mind that you'll get what you want before you can even get to your armpit. But that's another reason why I say you don't want to have all this space, right? But if you do have space, then what you're saying to your opponent and to yourself is, oh, if I'm going to have a lot of space instead of a gap, like a gap means you want the lock here and you want it to be tight and like ready instantly. If you're doing it here, it's because you want to grind them down, right? Like use it like a lever on the top of their vertebrae. And that gets you a different type of effect. So those are two ways to think about it, right? But once you're trying to get to your armpit, don't be nice, right? Don't be like, oh, let's see if I can. Okay, now I'm going to grab it. Right? Now keep it. <laughs> If you're gonna do it from high, then you lever it down, right? Like you're downshifting. Um, <laughs> so, but, and then from here, it means you just wanna get this, and then keep it quiet, tight, and then you might feel it before you even get into the arm, okay?